Hello everyone and welcome back. For our next arc build, we are going with a simple setup that encapsulates the strongest exotics to use in Season 23. Combining Star Eaters, Arc Subclass and Polaris Lance is the easiest way to fly through Endgame if you want something with pure raw power to it. I know you've seen many versions of the build before but this is more for those who have taken a big break of the season and will be coming back to finish off what they just started. Now if you like combining Jolt and Scorch together, extremely high super damage against bosses, endgame flexibility and a quick way to burn through content fast, then this build will simply sort you out just for that. So to start you're going to want to have flow state where defeating a joy target makes you amplified. Being amplified grants you increased dodge regen, more resilience while dodging and reload speed is greatly increased. Then you want Tempest Strike where slightly delayed activating your charge melee ability unleashes a devastating uppercut attack. A fragments used are a spark of recharge where while critically wounded, your melee and grenade gets a 400% ability regen until healed. A spark of amplitude where while amplified, defeating multiple enemies drops orbs of power. A spark of shock where your arc grenade jolt targets. And a spark of ions where defeating jolt targets create ion traces. The three must-haves will be Spark of Discharge, Shock and Ions at best, as they will actively work with improving the large-scale benefits the build already has for you. Now from here, I chose to add the Spark of Amplitude as I can see myself becoming amplified quite easily with the kit selected. With this in hand, not only can you create orbs of power via mods, but I can also do it via the fragments as well for even faster super regen effect. Outside of the exotic, I probably wouldn't use it so often, but in this case, it does have plausible reason to be used more often. For the mods and stats section, having a high resilience and discipline would be the smart move to do on your end, as this will be key to making the build as strong as possible. Resilience at tier 10 will grant us a 30% damage reduction for the build, with a bit of trade off for my recovery as shown. The following level is required for surviving lethal hits in endgame and can be life and death if not fully prepped for certain encounters. You will be able to survive most lethal hits the game will throw at you, but most importantly having a harmonic resistance mod for a 15% damage reduction from arc elemental hits will greatly increase your survival rate in end game. Now with how common arc hits are in game, this will be key to surviving multiple arc sniper hits or boomer hits in GMs. Discipline will be at tier 10 for a 1 minute 1 second cooldown. As your grenades will be the pulse grenade, your cooldown will be very high no matter how maxed out the stat becomes. In this scenario, we will have ion traces to help foster the area as we play. However, this won't be enough so you will need to add on the following as well. Having a grenade kickstart for a 34.4% grenade regen, orbital restoration for a 10% ability regen, bomber for a 12% grenade regen, and distribution for 4% will be the ideal option to pick when reducing the stat further. This should be more than enough to balance out the given stat, but if not, then adding on the impact induction times 1 or times 2 will also greatly benefit the stat if required. So now we have the additional mods and armor charge mods we can apply once the key parts are now done. Charged up will expand your armor charges by 1, while stacks and stacks will increase orbital collection by plus 2. After that, having the Solar Siphon and Powerful Attraction mod will allow us to create and collect also power within our Venicity. Lastly, as well as having the Heavy mods, having the Ashes of the Assets will be must have for escalating our super region rate that we're currently going after. Now, lastly, the weapons being used, we are using the Polaris Lance, which has become the best exotic scout to use for this season. The following weapon allows users to net back to back critical hits that can build damage, radiate, and explode all without the need of reloading on hand. It's perfect for this season as it doesn't require a lot to use the weapon and strength for being used for end game for engaging targets from distance is generally a must have for survival. However, even after the season ends it will still be an amazing weapon to use without the seasonal mods included. So of course if you want a semi similar weapon that can proc ignitions and scorch as well then the Skyburner's Oath is what you want to aim for. Now our heavy we have the Crux Termination Rocket Launcher with Tracking and Clown Cartridge and not many people seem to talk about the following Rocket Launcher when being used in game. Although it's no hot head adept, 
The following weapon comes with some pretty good and interesting perk combos that are worth investing in. I've only started to use the weapon like shown, but my one came with a very high velocity stat. Now, this combined with clown cartridge will allow my weapon to fire off two very fast rockets, which for me could easily take out mini bosses or champions in a short time frame. It also comes with the wildcard trait as well for that extra after action final blow, so it's not just a simple rocket launcher to pick and use, it's got great potential for endgame as well. So this is a great way to round up the best builds to use in Season 23, and I've chosen the most easiest setup available that everyone will be familiar with and only has a few downsides to it. This build with a combination of Star Eater Scales and Polaris Lance allows players to be near unstoppable for any in-game content you have in mind, and whether you use a solo or in teams takes no effect as to how well it will perform in the build. Star Eaters used to be the top dog when it came down to raw super damage against mini bosses to bosses alike, and although its charge rate has been severely reduced, it's still very much powerful when combined with Gathering Storm Super. And then combining this with the best scout rifle in game currently for this season, Palau's Lance, allows near infinite damage that can be used against all sorts of targets, while at the same time granting wide level scorching initiatives on hand. Then lastly, our fragments kits overall focus on survival, damage, and increasing attrition rates against everything we face in game. Then lastly, our fragments kits overall focus on survival, damage, and increasing attrition rate against everything in game makes it a kind of all round build to use. In simple terms, if you want a purely raw damage build for speed running this season content, then the following is very easy to achieve. I would say such a build will have viability even after the season, since not much will be changed. However, very level of changes towards anti-champions mods will mean the user will need to update their gear to accommodate the change, or leave the build behind and start from scratch. One other thing to be aware of is that using Star Eaters comes with its cons where dying with charges active means you lose those charges once and for all, and will mean you need to redo it all over again. Annoying, as it can sometimes mess up the damage phase you really need to rush though, but even with the charges or not, your super is still pretty good nonetheless. I think I'll leave this one short since it's quite self-explanatory and not too special compared to the other builds I've covered. Hopefully this will aid you until the end of the season like it did for me. So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on the content shared then please leave a comment below. While at the same time, if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future, then leave a like and sub while we're here. I will leave a dim link for the build below, and if you want more stuff like this, then I have a playlist available covering all types of builds you might desire. It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.